So with that information, you never know who or what you can find online. And having been involved in investigations over many, many years, I thought I'd choose a few, not investigations I've been involved in, but a few I thought would be of interest for this session. First of all, we see in a headline not that long ago that we had a suspected mafia fugitive who was living on a Caribbean island. And what tipped off the police to his location was a series of cooking videos that he posted onto YouTube. Now, one of those videos, although it didn't show his face, displayed a distinctive tattoo. And it was this tattoo they were able to actually to identify and therefore know the whereabouts of this particular individual. So that's just one very simple example of how open source intelligence has assisted the likes of law enforcement. But within Startpage, whilst you're searching and it comes back with the results from Google, if you click on the little icon there, which is denoting a face mask, an eye mask, you'll have the wording anonymous view. And that will take you to a third party sort of, uh, you'll still see the website, but you're going through a third party. The best way for me to demonstrate this is on an older search that I created rather than trying to do this all live. So you can see I've actually gone to this particular hotel's website through a Google search. And by going through a Google search with a piece of software I'm running on my browser, there are 22 trackers that are actually on the website or have followed me from my Google query. You can also see that my location has been identified as well. So Google, in this case, it knows that that's my IP address. So at that time, you're in New York and they actually were using this ISP, et cetera. So if I don't want the game to be given away in terms of my location, unfortunately, it's too late now. So what is the darker side? What do we hear about? What do we see more when we watch movies or we hear, you know, we, we watch a police documentary and they say the internet was found on the dark net? There's that more sinister side. Well, yes, there are people that do use and abuse it to set up a number of different activities, selling a number of different products which are illegal. And that's because of the privacy that this network provides and the encryption it provides. It's therefore difficult for them to get caught. So, yes, there would be no surprise or don't be surprised if you went on to the dark net and you were able to find shops that sell firearms, such as the example here. Yes, you could go onto the dark net and you could buy compromised credit card details, bank account information. If you want to reveal someone's username and profile, then again, you could do so. 